Well, gather round, folks, it's that time again To hear the tales that'll spin in the wind We got a podcast, it's a real grand show Call Lucky Time Explosion, y'all ought to know On our first episode, a guest we did claim Hey there, cowboys and cowgirls. <laughs> it's time for another crazy adventure with your favorite podcast, Lucky Time Explosion. Wow. <laughs> How are you doing? Howdy, everybody. Howdy. It's Friday. You guys excited for the weekend? Yes. Nice. Fuck yeah. You going away? Going to the beach. Yep. Ooh. Going to set off some fireworks. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, could you, we talked about Uh this earlier, but could you tell us about the firework that you purchased? Yes, uh, gladly. Went to uh, New Hampshire, got, went to a fireworks place called Area 51. (laughs) Sweet. And, uh, you know, had smoked a little weed, wandered around the halls, and uh, every single picture on the side of a a, a fireworks box is is amazing right there was one with like snow white as a zombie ripping her face off (laughs) almost got that one um but i got i chose um bad mother-in-law bad mother-in-law bad mother-in-law which is the sequel to bad mother and on the side it's like pink and it's got (laughs) it's got a woman with a rolling pin and hair curlers and there's like a baby crying in the background. <laughs> this is a pretty deep lore for like firework. Uh, <laughs> Super deep lore. Yeah, 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 for sure. Firework art. Um, and it was like 80 bucks. I didn't realize how expensive fireworks were, but right. this was like the one I was like, all right, you know, it's got like five mortars. And the, I took it to the to the uh, the counter and the, the girl was like, yep, this one's got everything. It's got, <laughs> <laughs> it's got your mortars. It's got your swizzers. And, you know, it's like that scene yes. from... Oh, yeah, yeah. Swizzers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got... Memorial what, Day. Yeah, so so don't tell the cops. Uh, okay. I don't know what the uh, vibe is for fireworks in Delaware, but... I oh, f- yeah. I feel like Delaware... It's not like gonna a send Joe Biden plan. himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> he's going to be like... You know, no, none of that. Yeah, I think Parker. Lucky Time and Explosion is incorporated in Delaware because everything's incorporated over there. Oh, right, yeah. It's, it's a lawless a, town, mm-hmm, no yeah. income tax. Well, it's also kind of a slow news day in the art world, it would seem. There is a Damien Hirst controversy Uh-oh. going on. Uh, <laughs> there's all these articles about how he's like misdating his work, like saying that the shark this, uh, has a date on it for like 1999, but they made one of them in like 2013 or 16. Uh, and so he's arguing that he conceptually, that any conceptual work is dated when he thought of it. And that's what he's saying. And then people are like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. Why would you, <laughs> why would you do that? Yeah. It I don't know. Makes sense to me to do that. Like, yeah. It seemed pretty stupid too. Cause I was reading the article and it was kind of saying that, um, you know, it was like a couple years. They're like, this work was made in 2018 and he's claiming it was made in, you know, 2016. Huh. Oh no. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I care, but that's what's going on. Everyone's that's talking that about. Crazy. I, I have work that I made in 1732. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. so, Vampire. I mean, you know. I, yeah. I, one time I moved a million dollar Damien Hurst piece from a a, a big, you know, uh, apartment complex in Midtown. Oh yeah. It was one of the butterfly ones. Oh yeah. yeah. And. It was the, the apartment was unfinished, it was on like floor 80, like we were above the Empire State Building looking down at it. It's that what? one, yeah, it was that, it's that one building that's just like a big block, like it looks like a oh, big yes. Jenga tower. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With the big ass windows. It takes a long time for that elevator to come and get you, doesn't it? Uh, you know, I don't really remember the elevator. But <laughs> I do. I was on the 84th floor of that one. Um, yeah. And uh, it took like an hour. I like would just be afraid I could feel the wind. You swaying. can, you can. I was up there and like thinking about like the wind, like you could hear the wind. It was the whole building was kind of like shaking. Anyway, so Ugh. we get there and they're like, yeah, it's just so you know this by this size. And then we get there and it's in this like w- it ends up being in this giant frame, this like weird trapezoid frame that adds about 150 pounds oh, to the whole no. thing. Mm. And you can't. The, the building was unfinished at the time, so we had to, like, angle it and move it. I mean, it took all fucking 
day. Jeez. Yeah, and it's for this demented piece that's just like <laughs> all butterflies and stuff. At you least know? you didn't have to uh, move Fuck that him. piece where he like lets a bunch of ants like eat his clothes or whatever, that rotting. Right. There's like that one piece that's just like a cage with like rotting stuff in it and like that's a bunch Damien of live. Hurst? Yeah, Damien Hurst piece. I don't remember the title of it, but it's a bunch of like, like live creatures eating something. Hmm. I yeah. think it was like clothing, hmm. like, like moths eating clothing around. But yeah, yeah he's I always... I don't mind that. That's actually kind of cute but right. what happens when it's done it's just they're the it's gone like yeah, everything's dead and, done. everything's and dead in there like on the floor it's just like trash in your it's apartment. a conceptual <laughs> work right yeah. just trash like is a, a that was the other thing because the 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 shark i kind of understand even though like i still think you should date it whenever you finish the production of the formaldehyde tank and put the shark in there yeah the other work was about his dot paintings they turn into an nft project I don't know if you heard about this, but he was basically saying that he would, uh, it's like a bunch of dot drawings on paper. Uh, and the idea was that you could either buy the original or you could buy the NFT. And if you bought the NFT, he would burn the original. Okay. Which is like kind of gimmicky. I'm like, uh, is that cool? I don't know if that's cool. Yeah. I'm a, <laughs> a very bored ape about that one. <laughs> hey. Hey, oh. Um, you see all those videos. There's like a video on here on YouTube from Philian about the bored apes uh, and about like their hidden like racist symbology inside of their, uh, <laughs> well, their stuff. Inside of their and, pixels. and anti-Semitic as well. Well, all go, sorts of stuff. It, it's basically what, I, as far as I can ascertain, what it is is like it, it's like 4chan, you know, uh, 4chan kind of troll level stuff. Okay. You know, I don't think there's actually like they're not a cabal of Nazis sitting around a table, but they're like 4chan. Uh, they're anonymous. Do, they're, yeah, they're just pushing it for the sake of it, I think. Because there is a lot of that video is actually pretty in depth and goes into a lot of stuff that's obviously like not, it's obviously intentional. You know what I mean? References to like fucked up stuff. I'm really glad that that board, because I, I, I respect NFTs in the sense that like, you know, there are digital artists that like made money off of that, yeah. that craze. And so that's pretty cool. And I, I wanted I, it to be good. I respect it. But then I, then it just became this like, you know, I don't know the bored ape thing, right? Like, also, it, it, it's like it a QR attracted, code, and that's it. That's your yeah. art piece. It, it attracted a lot of con artists. That's yeah, sure. like literal yeah. scammers. I was scammed myself. I I created a project. I spent about six months on it, and then the the person that will not be named tried to turn it into a Ponzi scheme. Basically, I mean that's what they so, are by nature. You know, yeah. they're kind of like right. not mine though. Mine was going to help <laughs> the world in positive ways, and it was. And, and I mean, that's there are what a makes lot it of, even more sad. I don't. I don't like to shit on it too hard because I do think there's a lot of people who mean really well or were really yeah, well intentioned yeah, yeah. who are doing cool projects with it. And yeah. as a digital artist, I'm like all for new mediums and exploring stuff right uh it is unfortunate it's just a kind of um a byproduct of the lack of regulation you know it's like a wild west kind of place where there's no law there's no way to like actually enforce anything so it's all just trust-based and when that happens you get a lot of people coming in who like literally have been banned from trading on wall street and now mm. have figured found a new way to move millions of dollars right you right. know through like ethan and, and crypto yeah who does like that's I mean, t the idea behind Bitcoin and all of this like blockchain stuff is that you don't actually need to enforce it because it's already kind of like right, written into the code of the system. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. And it's got double check. But like who does enforce it? Right. I mean, because cash money gets it like the reason that the American dollar is like worth what it is because, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, we have the, the military to back it up. And I think it's more, I think there's, uh, it's more about enforcement, not of like the actual currency. It functions, you know, as it's supposed to. Right. It's uh, the enforcement of like what you can tell people they're buying. Because mm. like that's, that's the thing about crypto is like, you know, they do a lot of like roadmaps for the future and they'll be like, we're going to have a video game. And they're like, like no specific, yeah, they're like no specifications of what they're, what the video game is going to be. They're like, it's going to be a massively multiplayer MMO, which is extremely expensive to like host. Mm -hmm. uh, and then mm -hmm. it just never happens. And I don't think a lot of them, like they never intend to actually make them happen. Mm -hmm. Or they're just like really hopeful and optimistic and like naive about it's like what it's going to be. Or a little bit of stuff. both. Yeah, or, or both. A little bit of both. And then there's of course the actual technical problems with it. Like there's one <laughs> game that was actually using the code, which is really cool because the you know NFT codes are so small, you can't contain much in it, uh -huh. except like a URL for where a picture is. Uh, but this game was like using it as, as the NFT was actually a part of the game's code. But the problem was because of the nature of the blockchain, editing that was almost impossible. So like they'd have one glitch and it would just break the whole thing. 
Right. And, and, in, <laughs> and in order to fix the game, you had to like shut down and restart the entire yeah. fucking crypto. That's just part of the game. Yeah, it didn't work out very well. You just lost the game. Yeah. Shitty game. Yeah. Uh, well, so it's hard to tell if it's the future or if we're all just like curmudgeon old men. I don't know. It's the past now. Yeah, I think so too. I just read an article that was like published yesterday. It was like indicating signs of crypto winter. Crypto winter? They're calling it crypto winter. Winter's coming. Winter's coming. Crypto there's that, bros. There's this, like, will, uh, building in Williamsburg that's like covered in black, like NFT art yeah. or something. Have you seen this? I'm not sure. It's on Grand Street. Anyway, it's just like there's bored apes all over it. And then there's just like the worst art you've ever seen. It's just <laughs> all over everything, the whole thing. And it's just like, God, man, that... And nobody, nobody has done the, like, I don't understand why the graffiti artists that are out there aren't just like going and just completely blasting this thing because that's what everyone does in Brooklyn anyway. Yeah. Like over like actually good graffiti art. So like, <laughs> go guys, whoever's listening, <laughs> go cash <get> more, <laughs> go out there. He might have it on there, but go blast that thing. It's actually, funny. um, quick announcement. Cash four is going to be in a show this, uh, coming up this weekend. I'm going to go check it out either tomorrow or, uh, Sunday. It's going to be at the one space gallery. So let me give a quick, I want to give a quick shout out to that. That is going to be at 23 Warren Street, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, Sunday and Monday from 1 to 8, and tomorrow, Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. It's looking like a pretty crazy roster. We got Cash 4, Mirrors 1, uh, Chris RWK, Swiss Miss is going to be there. One of my favorites, Viewer. I have a Viewer piece uh, hanging at my house. Yeah, it's just a ton of people. I'm sorry for everyone I'm not mentioning. The flyer's too big. Link in the description. Go check that out this weekend. Cash Four is cool. I, I think I met him one time in Miami. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just bought him. a little a bill off of him off his last show at Village Works. Nice. You know that bookstore? They just moved to the to yeah. St. Mark's. Hmm. It's called Village Works. It's like a really cool little used bookstore. Uh, but it seems like a very, very much like community spot. You know, you can find like artist magazines, artist made books there as well as like bestsellers and stuff. All right. Check it out, everybody. Village eh? work. Mm. But go check out that at One Art Space tomorrow. I was in Miami. Actually, this time when I met him, I was in Miami and I was at staying at this Airbnb. And Miami just loves that NFT stuff. Oh, yeah. They they love that like that, like, you know, Richie Rich holding a cigar and, (laughs) you know, a bag of money. My favorite's like the big metal Amex cards that have like the Joker on them. Oh god! I don't know who's yeah, making like that, but it's like the tackiest Mr. thing I've ever seen. Kind of shit. Kind of, kind of worse though, actually. Um, worse, yeah. But there were the the, the Airbnb I was staying in. I think it was Bitcoin like funded. This yeah. was a few years ago. Um, and <laughs> on the front of it, on the front of it, it was um Yoda, <laughs> like in the bottom corner. It was a huge mural. Yeah. Yoda blasting like red lightning which yoda doesn't do first right. of all come on it's not gonna be red come and then on, the, then there's darth vader in the top corner blasting green lightning which he never does <laughs> and then yeah. they meet in the center like <laughs> and then in the center there's a bitcoin <laughs> oh <my God>. like, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, it was. It's it like was the fabulous. Rick and Morty smoke shop uh, oh, phenomenon. Yeah, definitely. Same, same sort of vibes. Same. I don't know why they're obsessed with that stuff. Oh, I love it. It's kind of like the thing about uh, the crypto stuff too is it's kind of like a religious cult. Mm. You know, it feels like a religious cult. They have these little things you're supposed to do, like say good morning, say it back. It's like the uh, force. Yeah, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Like, how dare mm. you have FUD? Like, if you say anything critical of a crypto project, like you're like, hey. How do you expect to actually meet these goals you're proposing? They're wow. like, get out of here with that FUD, man. Wow. Peace, love, <laughs> unity, respect. <laughs> Fear, uncertainty, doubt. It's like the anti plur. This is like uh, we were talking, we were on, Morgan and I ran into each other on the train today. And yeah. We were talking about the secret. Oh, right, yeah. You know, the right. secret. Got to keep positive. Manifesting. At all times. I love that guy that's like, I owe the banks a lot of money. Little do they know, I've learned the secret of manifestation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, unfortunately, we got stuck on the six because uh, someone was hit by the train. We don't know if they jumped or if they were hit. Most likely, they probably jumped. But, you know, of course, that, that pisses New Yorkers off. Like, you can right. do Get anything, out of our way. You know, and now you're holding everyone up to get to work, and everyone's all, you know, yeah. crying and grabbing at their crotches trying to get to where they got to go to. I mean, that's just me. No, you were and, grabbing um, at people's crotches. Right. So, yeah, yeah. so that's, that was the beginning of our day. Um, but, you know, that leads me to today's national holidays. What is that? I'm going to hit you hard. This is going to mess you up. Okay. Jeez. National Poop Day. 
that's like every day. I don't understand that's this true. one, but I'm going to read it just because it's so weird. It's don't fry day. What don't does that mean? Fry like don't fry, fry food. Bacon. It says here you wouldn't let your child smoke. Why let them fry? Like, don't fry that, day is here. Like what the fuck does that mean? It's Maybe frying it's means like, like acid, right? Or like your hair. I think like, it means can, taking LSD. I, I give my kids LSD. Do kids have, do LSD. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen that clip of the little like kid in the sixties who who's talking about acid? No. He's like he's like this little kid. He's at some uh, like weird hippie commune where they gave the children acid, oh, and the God. kid was like, uh, you know, it can be more important than like reading the Bible ten times or something like that, man. How old is he? Like a nine-year-old? Yeah, or? he was like, it was like oh, that's like it was yeah, like, he's of age, <laughs> like nine or eight or something. Actually, I just read further. It you have it's talking about lathering yourself with uh, sunscreen lotion. They uh, did not. Uh, uh, they should have not just not. Yeah, it's national stupid. suntan stupid. lotion. It's day. also National Asparagus Day. Mm. Okay, make National Make Your Pee Smell Day. That's delicious. right. Yeah. Yum, make yum. Your Pee Smell Delicious Day. National Brothers Day. Brothers Aww. don't shake hands. Brothers hug. Last time I was on, it was National Sibling Day. Do you yeah, remember that? Weird. I think There's I a lot of a crossover. Song about it. Yeah, yeah. this is too. Repetitive. I prefer my, you know, sibling holidays ungendered. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't. Ha- I only have brothers, so I don't know what I don't know what it's like to have a sister. Do you have any sisters? No, no. So I have a half sister, but I didn't grow up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Only child, only child, only child. Game. Yeah, uh, only chain game. You can right. tell. I Put in know. the comments what it's like to have a sister. Yeah, tell well, us what a, you think. I'll tell you quickly. It was a very strange situation. Basically, I was twelve years old. I had no clue, and all of a sudden, my dad's like, "Hey, by the way, uh, you have an older brother and an older sister, and they want to talk to you." I was oh. like, "What?" <laughs> Sweet. So I, they they put me on the phone, and I'm like, you know, pretty shocked. Who the fuck are you? And they're like, "Hey, Morgan, what's up? This is Jason. This is Heather." And then all of a sudden, they're like, "We're your brother and sister. And we're coming to live with you for a while." And I was like, "Wait, what?" And my dad's like, "Shrugs," and my mom's like, "Shrugs." I mean, she knew, you know, everything. That's funny. But um, I had no clue. And next thing you know, uh, they came from Arizona. Had an older brother and an older sister who. Yeah. Started uh, abusing me and beating me. No, oh, Jesus. I'm no, 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 oh, my no, no, God. No, no, no. <laughs> no uh, my sister was like really into uh, Nine Inch Nails and Ouija cool. Board. And my brother was into uh, Faith No More. And like, you know, I learned a lot from them actually yeah, musically. Cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's like a so chapter from uh, White Noise by Don DeLillo. <laughs> like, there's mm-hmm. like, because there's always people popping out of the woodworks in that one and it's like here's your brother here's oh yeah it came sister. out of nowhere i mean yeah. they never mentioned it at any point and i was already like 12 i was like whoa but also what the fuck <laughs> that's got to be a little disconcerting yeah it's also national road trip day it's mm. national mike day it's national i'm taking a road trip to the day. beach tonight that's, right. so that's, oh, gonna be that's awesome. nice Good. it is warm yeah. out i'm gonna get some beach combos time. what else, what do you like to take on your on your on your road trips alcohol yeah Weed. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And some snacks. Snacks. Combos. Yeah. Combos are lit. Combos are pretty lit. Yeah, but they're like people food. Like they, a they're, they're, they reach a point of no return where you've eaten too many of them, and then the top of your mouth starts peeling off. Oh. Yeah, that's like number three. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really, yeah, like <laughs> I, just, number three. I just start enjoying it. I just yeah. like it. I just can't shake the feeling when I'm eating combos that I'm eating like a, a human pellet. A you know human, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. when you have a pet rabbit and you like dump a bunch of pellets into it, that's what it feels oh, like. Yeah, it feels like sure. pellet pellet food for people. I thought you meant like combos are people. Like <laughs> <laughs> Soylent green combos, <laughs> yeah. delicious. Filled with people. Yeah. Old people. Well, speaking of old people, um, there's Hauser and Worth Gallery has their youngest artist ever uh, signed now at 29 years old. All right. Which, I thought you were going to say like six. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, it makes me feel good, like but also scared. Acid. Yeah, because it's like, you know, I always I love art because it's one of those things that you can do forever. And like you can, there's a lot of older people in the arts because it takes like a lifetime of working to create a body of work that people will think is like important and want to show and buy. Uh, or remember so it's always like yeah art feels like a low pressure like not like a a young person's industry you know Mm -hmm. and so it's like it's cool it's like 29 is like the youngest ever 29 is not that young no No, it's not that old but it's it's not that old but then i'm like oh comparatively i would have been much more happy about that news when i was 28 i want to know what the (laughs) the oldest person to do it like 105 oldest person's probably like i mean if do you count them if they have to still be alive yeah oh yeah that's right yeah 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 the oldest person's probably like that. Move to those cave paintings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they're like six. They're like twenty thousand years old. Twenty right thousand and French. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> but his name is uh, George. Uh, I'm gonna fuck this up so yeah, bad. It's a French a French pronunciation. George Rory. Rory. It was like a click. I tried to Google how to pronounce it, and it clicked. And I was like, I can't do that. It's a R O U Y. Pretty cool work. Very figurative, kind of abstract, kind of plain, like monumental scale paintings. All right. I like it. I like it. That's what it looks like. Mm. Tell us what you think in the comments. Do you like George Rory? Rory. I can't do it. Can we get? Can, oh, oh, that was a good one. You can do one of those. I can do this. Yeah. Wait. Oh, like the morning dove thing. Yeah. You should go do that to the Dublin portal. They'll shut it down. I can't do All it. Right. I use my portal? hands to do that, dude. I'm wearing too many rings. Okay, here, I'll, I'll beat it. you. This is my hand whistle. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Whoa. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's all do that uh, whole chorus of hand whistlers and stand the, in front of yeah, the, the next uh, 10 minutes of the, the portal. Show. Yeah, the next 10 minutes is just going to be whistling noises because nothing's going on in the art world. Go make more art. Are I'm you guys not making art? Show us your art, show, by the way. Show your titties in front of the, um, uh, <laughs> what is it called? The Oculus? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not called the Oculus. You're confusing me twice with that. It's uh, the portal. The portal. The portal. The, the portal. Por the pornal. Yeah, and it's an older mm. work. It, it was here before, and I think it was connected to London. And everyone right. behaved themselves. And then they put it in Dublin. And everyone's like showing pictures of 9-11, all these horrible things. Oh, and then goodness. getting it shut down. You know, they're just being rude to each Breasts other. And, not, and, and, and the Twin Towers. What yeah. An interesting combination. Yeah. I think they just like happened once. And that was the There's news story. Was it at the same time? They fl she flashed a breast and someone like Maybe. flashed a picture of the Twin Towers getting hit? Maybe. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> There's more Rude. fucked up things than you can say. There ain't a. I mean, I don't know what they expect to do when you put it in New York and Dublin. Like, it's. Well, or the, anywhere. the interesting thing is it didn't happen on the New York side. Yeah. Well, no, the New Yorkers were also misbehaving. Oh, we're we're not were. behaving ourselves. Oh. You know, that's oh. true. It actually reminds me a lot. It's one of those artworks that I had an idea for like years before that, it, and then it happened, and then I was kind of like, oh, I'll scratch that one off. But instead of a, a standing vertical portal, I wanted to make it like a well. That was in every subway <laughs> station that like leaned out to a different subway station. So you just go and there'd be like a big well in the middle of the platform. You'd look down into it'd be it, like a trash can, yeah. like a trash Other can people. everyone is looking into. Yeah, yeah, like a big people would think they probably would collect so much trash really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you that. <laughs> That's a portal, <laughs> you make, dummy. Make, make a multi million dollar piece of uh, interactive art, and people are just like oh, throw their Burger true. King wrapper. Yeah, in it. <laughs> art is trash. That would add to the work. Oh, art is trash. Yeah, did I tell you the art is trash story? If I said that on air no okay so i did a show a long time ago called artist trash and it was like this is a name of a i just that I no it gets more mind. deep okay, okay it gets well, deeper than that go ahead i did a show that was called artist trash and it was just our artists recycling work we did work with like um a bunch of good artists for that show i can't remember who i was thinking of but all of a sudden this guy comes to the opening and he's like leering around and he's like, kind of give me the eye. And I was like, hey, dude, what's up? And then he just leaves. And then later that night, I start getting all these messages on Facebook that are like, this gallery stole my artist name idea. Uh, they're trying to like, you know, profit off his name without including him or, you know, representing me. This is bullshit. And I was like, what are you talking about? Apparently, he has an, an artist whose name is Artist Trash. <laughs> Is the name of the artist. And like, I actually kind of had seen the work around a little bit, but I didn't look like equate the two. They didn't click. Uh, and I was like, dude, I would have invited you to show that work in our gallery. That would have been rad. Uh, like, but the assumption was there that like, I should know. Art. So the, the, his like taken name art is trash. Yeah. That's the name. Huh. All right. Yeah, it's like it, it's just getting a lot of yelled like, at for using art attack. Which yeah. Everyone yeah. and their mother has used a million times over and over again. Yeah. Right. It's a weird, uh, weird scene right now of like trying to copyright stuff. Uh, uh, is it uh, that contemporary art is over? The florissance is now. You know what? I, What's the seen, florissance? Have you seen? There's like that's graffiti that's all over Chelsea, and it's just some dumb artist that put that up, and it's just like I don't contemporary know, the, and art. Nobody, I don't know what florissance is. I bet their name is Flor. And also, how can you say contemporary art is over? <laughs> is <what it> is. <laughs> no one's making art. Well, I mean, now we got AI, so no one's making any real art. They're just churning them out on the computer. I watched uh, a music video yesterday. Joking. I don't even remember the name of the band, but um, the whole thing was AI from yeah. start to finish. It was just moving AI. It wasn't pictures, but now moving AI is getting a little bit better. 
And, yeah, it's getting um, kind of creepy. I would say by next year, people are going to be making movies straight up in AI. Well, my favorite thing about all this AI junk is that uh, and then now, And then the article just came out last night. It's like Elon Musk says AI will take mostly all humans' jobs. Good. We don't, I don't want to work anymore. Yeah. Right. Well, he said it, it. He, he fouled up by saying that's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I sort of agree, but it, it could be a very bad thing in the short term. Well, for creative people. For it's, anybody. It's, it's, it's For anybody, for sure. Truck drivers, like one of the biggest occupation in this country. And then as soon as they fully automate truck drivers, like that's a ridiculous portion of the country out of work. So they have to do something else. Yeah. Like 34% of the people or something. Wow. Insane. I, I did not realize. It's a huge, it's not 34%. People into but. mulchers and stuff. Right. <laughs> like, oh, well, we don't need you anymore, cattle. <laughs> My worst thing is, uh, cause I, I think art is like, ironically, like one of the things that's safest from AI, even though everyone's most worried about it. Well, physical art. Just because of the nature of what makes people like art. You know what I mean? It's not all about how, re how well rendered. It hasn't been for decades about how well rendered something is. It's about like the, it's literally become about the human being who made it. So it's kind of like that, I think, protects yeah. artists from it. And how well you can draw paint, uh, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll fix that shit. You yeah. know, they, they, they've already started doing that. AI fingers are way better. Some guy's pulling his hair out doing that right now. Right, exactly. <laughs> but my, my favorite thing about the AI stuff is just that like, it's so pervasive, not even just in art, but now on the internet, if there's like, if you post something, that people don't like or they think is they just I see people accusing each other of being AI on Facebook constantly. <laughs> and it's so funny. <laughs> it's like this guy is obviously AI. Look at the words he's using. This one, this one, this one. <laughs> and like, you know, you can kinda I can still kind of tell when someone actually is AI. Like I get AI bots all the time on Instagram and you like click in and it's like the same photo of that person's face over and over and over again on different bodies. Right, right. And then they have like zero followers and they have something really generic like I am NFT collector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that. It's always the NFT. Like, I really yeah. like your work. Have you ever thought about turning your work into an NFT? I'm like, yeah. have you ever thought about jumping off a bridge? <laughs> uh, yeah. but they, Do that bots, instead but... of jumping in front of a subway, please. Yeah. Yes, advice, please. Advice to artists who are interested in doing an NFT still. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but watch out for people who are telling you that, you know, your work is really good and they want to help you make an NFT because the nature of NFT stuff is like you, you should be in control of it. Don't like let somebody else. No one else is going to come to you and say, I want to turn your work into NFTs. My suggestion is to stay away from it in completion across yeah. the board. That's, that's or know me. your materials. That's, that's kind of it goes back to like artists who can't stretch their own canvas, you know, and like don't know mm. how oil paint works with like fat over lean or whatever. I like it's hard like, cash. It, it's still a material, you know, like know it, understand how it works. And people who are offering to buy your like painting for thousands of dollars in Ethereum are most likely going to send you a link that just like robs you and takes all your shit. I yeah. saw this great. Uh, AI piece of art where it's just this beautiful woman with huge gazongas. <laughs> like I'm, we're talking like triple D's. She's wearing uh, overalls, and you know she's like in sort of the farm background. Yeah, and and she's smiling, but her her head is like on her right shoulder. <laughs> like everything else looks fine, yeah, yeah, but yeah. her head is over here on her right shoulder, and it's like. Um, sweetie, my, my eyes are over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, th that's my favorite thing about the NFT stuff is like the fucked up stuff that they're trying to fix and like make like all that is going to be the real art of NFT legacy. I think not NFT, I'm sorry, but AI stuff like AI generated, uh, artwork is going to have this legacy of like when it was learning and when it was bad and so all this fucked up like faces and people with like six arms coming out of the back. Of oh them. yeah. That's going to become great. like an aesthetic. I, I predict in like 50 years will be a revival of messed up AI. I have have a whole bunch of those because I started early. Yeah, I started early. So you have like you know mutant grandpas and uh, right. I have like Kermit the Frog, I like those. And Freddy Krueger. I have you know uh, Rodney Dangerfield smoking a blunt with Snoop Dogg, but they look like someone had driven over them <laughs> with <laughs> a tank. You should show that off. <laughs> Come with me tomorrow to the uh, the show at One Space with Mers One and Chris and and uh, Cash Four and all of them. We could show them that. I think they'd like it. Yeah, we could take a look at some of them here quickly. Do you have any shows coming up, Andrew? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, um, August, or sorry, June 9th, we're playing at, uh, what's the damn name of that venue? Uh, Purgatory. Oh, oh, I know Purgatory. That's like way out on, um, Bushwick, way out right? in Bushwick. It's a beautiful building. It's um, cool. It's across the way from the cemetery. Yeah. It, it, used it to feels be like a, Beetlejuice because there's like one building. And then it's the really cool. And it's like, you know, you feel like you're in six feet under or something. Cause it really yeah. used to be a, um, a, uh, like they made headstones there back in the day. Right. 
and the building itself is gorgeous. It looks like a giant headstone. Yeah. I mean, they did a great job, but it's way, way out there off the Halsey stop on the L. Yeah, it was pretty cool, though. That's I came. I got hit uh, by a car on my one wheel coming back from there once. Don't yeah. drink in one wheel, guys. Anyway, are you going to play for us, too? Uh, yeah. If you, I also have one more thing, though. Shoot. We're going to do, um, uh, starting July at Alphaville, we're going to have a, a weekly on Sundays. Oh, cool. Uh, a residency. A residency, yeah. And it's going nice. to be a free honky-tonk. So, I mean, we're going to also do um, oh, line dancing. Uh, we're going to do, yeah, please come out. It's free. Nice. Um, you know, we're going to pass around a hat so you can tip us and stuff. But also drink as much as you want because uh, we're getting percentage of the bar yeah, nice. <laughs> i need to get I some need to pay my artists man. i gotta get some cowboy boots I'll all right get some cowboy let's boots. go suit yeah. you up with cowboy boots let's do it starting Thank july you for july 7th Alpha thanks Bill. for joining us again see you next time Bye. new york city stride 70 degrees Lock myself outside Neighbor has my keys Poker on my phone Gentlemen play chess Give a dog a bone Bugs Bunny in a dress Loving you is worse than stepping on a bee But the one I love the least Between the two of us was me Breakfast with my boo, sunny side and grits. Tried a new shampoo, situation ship. Ears inside my walls, memorizing prime. Graffiti bathroom stalls, get to work on time. Loving you was worse than Swedish magazines. But the one I loved the least between the two of us was me. Loving you, loving you was worse than listening to Creed. But the one I loved the least between the two of us was me. Loving you was worse than drowning in a dream. But the one I loved the least between the two of us was me. Yeah, the one I loved the least between the two of us was me. Thank you.